In today's video, I will be sharing with you my new blue and white dishes collection. Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rosanda, and I'm so glad you're here at the Little Pink Casa. I've been wanting to share my blue and white dishes that I found recently. Last summer, if you remember, I made a video about some other blue and white dishes and finds that I found. In fact, one of them is this teapot right here. And so I was so excited about finding that teapot. And now I've been looking for some dishes that go along with this teapot because this has the pretty blue and white floral print and motif. And so today I'm gonna to show you what I found. I have been building a collection of blue and white dishes. I have been looking this whole past year and I've been looking in thrift stores, antique stores, and all over, even discount stores. And my favorite discount store to look for things actually is Tuesday morning. I don't know if you have Tuesday morning where you live, but that's where I usually can find a lot of good things besides thrift stores and antique stores. The first thing that I found when I went to Tuesday morning, it all started Tuesday morning. <laughs> so I took off to that store and I found these dishes right here. So this pattern is beautiful. This is actually part of the Queen's and it is made in England, earthenware, microwave and dishwasher safe. So I guess that's a more modern collection. So these are basically made today, but they're replicas. I was looking for some everyday dishes that I actually could uh, wash in the dishwasher and also some dishes that I don't have to feel like um, I might be getting lead poisoning from because <laughs> sometimes there are some problems you can have with um, too much lead in the older pieces or uh, antique china. So you just got to be careful and there are ways you can test for that. But I really love these. So when I found these on Tuesday morning, they have a beautiful pattern. This pattern actually matches the teapot and it's not the same. It doesn't go with it, but it actually has the same type and matches. I would like to make my china kind of eclectic. You have to remember, if you go back in history, many of the women didn't have full collections. Dishes weren't very affordable. So a lot of times women did mix and match their china and dishes for tea parties and for everyday wear, especially if it was the common woman. And I love being able to decorate my table with a lace tablecloth and a little bit more elegant, but I also like bringing that antique feel of a Victorian era, Regency era, um, and even that feeling of colonial America because I just love that look. So I think these dishes are beautiful and they fit right in. This collection, I was able to find six plates. So I have six dinner plates. And if you know my family, we are a family of three, so I have three extra for guests. And then I also found a salad plate, which is one. But you know what I do with salad plates? I like to use them for my decor. So I'll put them up on my walls and I'll hang them up. Um, I can use them as a free standalone plate too to decorate. I really like to do that. So it's okay, even if I don't use this for food, I like to use this for decor. And then I found some bowls. So I actually have six of these cereal bowls and they go with the six plates. So yay, I got that, which is a good complete set. You know me, once I found these, I had to go check out some more Tuesday mornings. And that Tuesday morning, I did find some pasta bowls. And these are a little bit bigger than the cereal bowl. So this is the cereal bowl and then the pasta bowl is bigger. So I don't know if you can see that, but the pasta bowl is great because every time I make pasta or Italian food, anything like that, I never have the right bowl or anything to, to present it in. And so I love that. I'm so excited for that. So I have four of these. So these are the four pasta bowls. So I was a little disappointed because I was able to only find four of these, but I did research this dish collection and this pattern. I can order these dishes and I can get replacements or add-ons. So I could do that if I wanted to, which is really exciting. So I think I might in the future just to maybe complete a set or get a little bit more dishes. 
all of these come from this one collection and I will put a link in the bottom if you were interested in getting some of these because you can order these online so the other pattern I found Tuesday morning which I was so excited about is the Italian spode. I wasn't able to find the dinner plates or bowls or anything like that, but because I want some more plates for tea, I was able to find a salad plate. So I have this one, and this is dishwasher safe. So these are the more um, modern ones so you can actually order these I can order these ones if I wanted to but it was just fun to be able to find these and be able to get them at a discounted rate and the other thing is sometimes when you buy them resell or from discount stores they may have some imperfections but I checked and all of these dishes are perfect great condition so what I'm gonna do with these is use them with my tea setting and use them for some tea sandwiches cookies, you know, uh, little tarts and things like that. And I do have four of these. So I was able to find four. Yay. So that makes a complete setting for me. And they are so beautiful. And it's just such a beautiful pattern. I really love this. And I want to really collect more of this pattern. And I'm still on the lookout. So I still look for Tuesday mornings and I go look because sometimes they just have these. They had different unique pieces in this pattern, but I wasn't very interested in those things because I really want to just collect the dishes first. So this is a very unique little piece. It's a little tiny basket and it's the Italian spode. And I just thought this was so darling for tea. Just decorate it or put it on a little table with the teapot. I think that looks so lovely. I think it adds something to the table for a tea table and for tea time. So those are the Italian spode pieces that I did get and I'm very happy with those and I'm still, like I said, on the lookout for some more pieces. What I found at the thrift store, I actually went to the same thrift store that I bought this teapot at and it's a charity thrift store. Um, it's got a good cause. All the money there goes to a orphanage for children that is here in our local valley. So I absolutely love it. And I love that my money is going to a good cause and helping children. So I am happy shopping there. <laughs> but I did find this last year at that place. So I was scouring the store and I just looked for odds and ends and things, not really knowing what I was going to find. And I found these really cute blue and white napkin holders. Now they are porcelain and they match the dishes. I feel like it matches this pattern. It's got the Dutch Danish um, pattern. It's a little windmill, looks like a little Dutch village. There are four napkin holders. And so what I decided to do when I found these, I thought, well, what am I gonna do with four napkin holders? But I thought, you know, this makes, this looks great for my tea table. I had the four Italian spode plates, and then I had the four napkin holders, which makes a great tea setting. I hope you enjoyed my video today. It was a little different video. I wanted to do a little more homemaking videos for you since some of you have missed my homemaking videos. I really had fun showing you all my blue and white new china and additions. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you an antique shopper? Do you love thrifting? Do you have blue and white dishes or a collection like this? Setting a beautiful table does not have to be expensive. You can find different pieces and build collections going to antique stores, thrift stores, and even discount stores. So just keep your eye out because you will find beautiful treasures too. Thank you for watching my video today. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. That's where I share more feminine style and romantic home. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.